This is a one bedroom villa at Copper Creek Villas and Cabins at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. We will be staying in room 5133 on the fifth floor of the Wilderness Lodge building. As we enter the one bedroom villa, off to the left is going to be the bedroom and bathroom area. Immediately in front of you is this little closet that has a stackable washer and dryer that you can use to do laundry during your visit. Off to the left here, you are greeted with a full-size refrigerator and freezer. Freezer does have an ice maker in it, so you can make yourself some fresh ice. There's a cabinet above the freezer and fridge that is equipped with a toaster and your ice chest if you prefer to use the hotel's ice machine. Closet here next to the refrigerator with a pocket door so it'll slide right out of place. This closet does have some hangers, a luggage rack, iron and ironing board, an in-wall safe, an extra pillow and blanket, and a laundry hamper for you to use during your stay. Heading further into the cabin, you do have an alley kitchen available. It is a full-size kitchen, so you can cook and meal prep in here. Full range and oven setup. Nice microwave. On the countertop, you do have a Mr. Coffee coffee pot. Some outlets if you need to plug in some additional appliances. Coffee, sugars, sugar substitute, and International Delight Creamer. You do have some foam cups for your coffee as well. Cabinet above the coffee maker has some baking dishes, a Pyrex measuring cup, some Pyrex Tupperware, plastic cup, and a colander strainer and some mixing bowls. Under the coffee maker, you have a drawer here with full of your silverware, some cooking material, and some additional cooking tools as well. And under that, you have the drawer for your trash and recycling. Very large sink here in the Copper Creek kitchen. Larger than my sink in my apartment. We do have some hand dish soap here if you wish to hand wash your dishes. A washcloth, a dish sponge, and some dishwasher detergent. This sink does also have a garbage disposal, so if you do need to use it, it is available for you. Paper towels available for you to the left of the sink. In the cabinets above the sink are where you're going to find your coffee mugs, your bowls, and your plates, as well as some extra serving dishes. And then to the left of that, you have your regular glassware and some wine cups as well. Wine glasses, excuse me. Full-size residential dishwasher. And then under the sink, you have your fire extinguisher and you have a dish drying rack with extra paper towels extra washcloths, extra sponges, and extra dishwashing detergent. This is the living space in the one bedroom. Immediately to the left is going to be your dining area. There are three chairs and a long booth. Nice long table. You could probably comfortably sit about six to seven people here. Under the booth, there is a drawer if you need some additional space in the kitchen. You have a nice comfy couch out here that does pull out into a queen-sized bed. Nice chair here and a coffee table with a Disney 100 book. This coffee table does open up for additional storage below. You do have some drawers across from the couch underneath the TV. Very, very large TV in the living room here that does have the new software on it. Under the TV, you have two sets of 110 outlets, each equipped with two USB-A ports. And a nice little desk area to the left of the TV. Again, equipped with some 110 outlets and two USB ports. Very nice lamp on the desk and a nice mirror. Here's what the living room space looks like with the pull-out couch pulled all the way out. Lots of space to walk out to the balcony, you set the chair off to the side, set the coffee table and the cushions off to the side over here. The Copper Creek one bedroom 
does have a balcony area. 5133 looks over the pool at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. You can see a little bit of Bay Lake. And if you look hard enough out there, you will see the Contemporary Resort. The balcony here expands across the living space and the master bedroom. There are two sets of chairs and tables available for you to use. And I'm going to scoot across this way to the master bedroom. Walking into the master bedroom here from the balcony, you can see the master bedroom has a king size bed with five pillows on it. Nice headboard, two nightstands on either side. Each nightstand has two 110 outlets and two USB-A ports. The headboard here has a light switch and a dimmer on each side that controls the lights above the bed. And there are sconces on either side of the bed that you can turn on and off individually. Nightstand has a little shelf down here for some storage space and an additional enclosed cabinet. Across from the bed to the left, we have a little wardrobe. Wardrobe is lit, so when you open it up, there's a light that comes on, some shelves on the side, and hangers available for you. On the bottom of the wardrobe, there is a drawer for additional storage. Nice large TV in the Copper Creek one bedroom. This does have the new software on it, as you can see. And then the dresser space has room for four drawers, lots of storage for clothes. The artwork to the side of the TV here is very interesting. Here we have a silhouette of one of the moose from the film Brother Bear. Down here we have a ticket for the Carrollwood Pacific Railroad, which is the railroad that was in Walt Disney's backyard. And then a nice painting of a waterfall. Attached to the master bedroom is this master bath space with a standalone tub. There, this is a Whirlpool tub. There are jets on the bottom. Tub space has four full-size towels and a bath mat and a bar of H2O bath soap. This bath space has a pocket door that you can open and close and a towel rack above the light switch. The bath space does have its own separate sink area. One sink, storage underneath, extra toilet paper and tissues. Comes with a hand towel, three washcloths, H2O body lotion and face soap, two 110 outlets here, and then a makeup mirror with a light built in. Here's the master bathroom. Another pocket door here for additional privacy. You have the toilet on this side here, toilet paper, and you have four full-size towels and a shower mat. Nice large shower in the Copper Creek Villas. You have you do have a handheld shower head and a rainfall shower head up above. Wall-mounted, Disney branded shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. And then an H2O branded bath soap bar here as well. To the left of the shower is the vanity space, equipped with one sink. They do give you an extra bar of face soap and tube of body lotion. Another makeup mirror off to the left with a light built in. Three washcloths on the counter and a hand towel. Over here you have some extra washcloths and a tissue box. To the left you have a wastebasket drawer here for some extra space and the drawer on the right has a hair dryer with an attachment. Heading out of the bathroom here, here's the master bedroom again. There is an extra closet space outside with some shelves that you can use to store shoes, bags, or coats. You can also use this as a sitting area to get ready. There are drawers down here as well if you need some extra drawers to get ready in the morning. Hallway out to this side will lead you right back to the entrance area and the kitchen.
So that concludes our tour of the one bedroom villa at Copper Creek Villas and Cabins at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. For one night in the beginning of May, on a weekday, this cost me 30 points. If you'd like to see more room tours like these, please be sure to like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to Monorail Central. Thank you all very much, and we'll see you all real soon.